with nearly 60,000 alumni doing great things all over the globe. The Culver House College of Business has much to be proud of. Celebrating its centennial through 2019, friends and graduates of Culver House share some of their favorite memories of the college and of the people who made a difference in their own lives. Um, I, you know, some of my favorite memories are times where we were getting together with us, with my groups and working on the projects, whether it's late at night or we were stressed about a deadline. You know, at the time it was painful and stressful, but now it's something you remember and think, oh, that was fun. You know, I, I wish I could have that experience again. Uh, I wouldn't be here today if it weren't for Culver House and the faculty that influenced me, especially when I was an undergraduate. Morris Mayer, Barry Mason, Ron Dulick, Sharon Beatty, and many others played a really important role in my development and inspiring me and encouraging me to go on and get a master's and get a PhD. So I'm very thankful for that. My fondest memory of Comber House was the relationship that we created. We, through the MBA Association, we had several functions that allowed us to kind of relax away from the school setting and also get to know each other. And I think one beneficial process through the business program is our class was around 60 or 70 students. And there were meaningful relationships that we made through that process. Not only in school, but after we graduated, I still have the opportunity to keep in touch with several of those within the company where I work and also within Birmingham and the state of Alabama. I'll value those. I value the learnings that we had in, in, in the program, but also the relationships that carry forward after that. My fondest memory was Dr. Webb's legal studies class. Um, extremely difficult, extremely challenging, but Dr. Webb made it extremely um, enjoyable. You know, I, there's so many special moments, and so it's hard to choose just one. But I think um, maybe the most pivotal, I think, was the, the gift from James and Marilyn Houston, uh, the naming gift for Houston Hall. Um, such a generous gift by a, a truly warm, wonderful couple who really want to make a difference. And the outpouring of support that that's generated uh, and really being able to help us move a project forward that's really very much needed. Um, and I think it's just been a great, uh, almost humbling. So I'd say um, the community really, not only with the students, like obviously we're very close, but also with the faculty. Uh, an example of that would be, talk to Lisa McKinney, um, who's one of the accounting professors on the phone for, you know, 15, 20 minutes yesterday on her Sunday, you know, Sunday afternoon, she's taking time out of her day to just ask me, you know, how everything's going, you know, is there anything she can do for me? So I'd really say like the community is what, you know, makes Cobra House special to me, but also home to me as well, so. We talked global 40 years ago. We are global now. I think the makeup of the students, the makeup of the student body in the university has changed so much and inevitably because we're such a big part of the university, the makeup of the student body changes. So we were traditionally in Alabama school with students from Alabama. Now in most of our classes, we, we not only cross the country, we and often in, in our graduate level classes, especially across the world. One would be in 1981 when I was thinking about coming, Ed Mansfield was very key in, in meeting me. It was in May of 1981 and he encouraged me and made it so welcoming to come to the University of Alabama. And looking back, that was the best decision that I ever made. And without that decision, I, I would really would not have met my wife and my life would have been totally in a different direction. Is hanging out in the open courtyard that used to be in the middle of Bid Good. It was like being in a building, but also being outside. And my friends and I would go out there and study and socialize and hang out and just have a really good time. My fondest memory of Culver House is getting the opportunity to speak to the CEO of the year, Miss Marilyn Houston. She was incredible. We had the opportunity to sit down and ask her about her career steps, what she currently loves about working with Lockheed Martin, and some of the things she would have done differently during her time at the University of Alabama. It was one of the best opportunities in my life and it's something I'll never forget. The most transformative experience for me in Culver House has definitely been joining Culver House Ambassadors. I did that as a freshman and it was before I was, you know, had my place on campus. So it really helped me kind of develop myself into the student I am today. And I can say with confidence that I would not be the student or person I am today without joining that organization. That's what Dr. Witt has been trying to do. They've been trying to get us, get people to think about Alabama in a different way and his programs about the best and the brightest and, and all of those things. And I was trying to help people understand 
Culver House was a very special place. It had, had yes, it had a, a lot of uh, uh, classic components, but it also was looking forward to. So as a Culver House student, I've been able to become a Culver House ambassador. And in my time being an ambassador, I've been able to make those connections with a lot of the alumni and also faculty and staff here. I am now a marketing intern in the marketing department where we work a lot with the social media and website to kind of bring the story of what the business school is trying to do here on campus. I've been so impressed with not only the, um, the caliber of students, um, but also the, the way the faculty has thought about structuring um, the programs. I mean, they're really thinking forward, which is, which is a, a really amazing. And I think that it bodes well for the people who are in, in, in these classes. And also, at, for, for me, as, as you know, someone looking to recruit, it, it's, it's a benefit for Disney to know that there's someone like this that I can, I can develop a relationship with Alabama and hopefully we can um, source some, uh, some good future cast members. An experience that has probably come back around for me in my professional career is really coming down to networking with corporate sponsors. Part of my job is developing genuine relationships and that's one major thing they taught us here at Culver House is to connect with people on a genuine level to understand what they're doing so you can have a better relationship in the end. So Friday night before the LSU game, I'm taking Hugh Culver House out to Dreamland and we're going to meet Rick Bragg out there. So already we've got an interesting party that's going to be, uh, you know, that's going to be meeting out there. Well, as we drive up, and I try to get us there a little bit early, as we drive up into the parking lot, I see police and I see a couple of guys out. It looks like they're finishing up a knife fight or something going on. And of course, in my head, what I'm thinking is, I can see the headlines of the Tuscaloosa News. Dean and major donor caught up in knife fight at Dreamland. And you know, and Hugh must have read my mind. And he looked over at me and he said, Mike, why didn't you pick me up earlier? We've missed the entertainment. So <laughs> that one was uh, kind of a humorous memory that I had. We can't be as good as we are. And we can't move forward if we don't have a great team of people working together. Um, I really, really believe that. And we are blessed to have really committed um, faculty who, who love to teach and love to do research, and staff who go way out of their way to work with students, uh, to plan events, to make us look great. Um, we need all those people working together. We need, we need the industry partners to help us uh, create great programs and help provide opportunities for students. So, I, you know, I don't know that it's any one person. It's really the fact that we have this kind of amazing group of people that work together um, all the time to make us great. Share your story at culverhouse.ua.edu slash 100 or on social media with hashtag Culverhouse100.